Cannon Falls, Dover Iota, Fillmore Central, and Byron. What do these communities all have in common? All of these schools had referendum questions on the ballot, and all of them failed. All four of the referenda questions were meant to increase the amount of money per student, but in all four communities, the no's prevailed. KGDC sat down with State Senator Carla Nelson to hear her thoughts on the referenda not passing. Nelson has previously served as part of the Minnesota Academic Excellence Foundation and Minnesota Higher Education Finance Authority Board. Nelson said the, uh, it was unusual to see referendums not passing, adding how they usually pass by a high margin. She added how two of the reasons for them not passing could have stemmed from tax increases and inflation. It's like people who have always voted for school uh, referendum, suddenly they just couldn't. The math didn't work. The high inflation just did not allow for that. So we're hopeful that we'll see, you know, inflation abate, uh, people being able to keep more money in their pockets. I think all that will be good. KGDC also reached out to several DFL state representatives and senators for their thoughts on the ongoing issues regarding school referenda. As of now, they have either recommended reaching out to another source or were not able to provide a comment or were waiting to hear back. Here